Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to 10 Minutes with today. We're going to look at Chris Stevens. Um, Chris is a comic book artist. I, I I don't know. He, he you know, a long time ago, he did some sequential stories, but I think mostly now he does either cover work or commission work. His stuff is very detailed. I'm, I'm sure most of you know his art. Um, but uh, yeah, I think, I think mainly he does commissions and then variant covers for... Probably Marvel. I don't. I don't know if I've seen his work on DC books. I haven't really followed um, f followed the DC stuff, or you know what I mean. Like it would be tough for me to know. I know he's done Batman pieces. So anyway, we're going to get right into it because we've got ten minutes. But uh, I'll have a link to Chris's um, Instagram. Um, he does do commissions. Um, uh, I know there's a wait list for him, but um, yeah, let's do this. This stuff is awesome. Um, Chris Chris got really good at doing Copic stuff. He's always had pretty detailed art, um, and just he really kind of took the Copic um, marker look. I mean, I, I always kind of feel like Adam Hughes sort of, in some ways, um, I'm trying to think of other people that were using it in comics before Adam. I'm sure that there was some. I mean, Travis did Wash on X-Men Wildcats. I think that kind of got people excited about that look, but nothing is like, created in a vacuum but uh yeah and then um you know chris just like i think he's probably got the most iconic and recognizable like copic stuff but in particular his great stuff he has more color now but anyway let's get into this we've got a lot of pieces so it's cool on his instagram he shows lots of nice details so this is the first time i've seen these pieces big so it's it's fun to see um all the the love that he puts into them because it's a lot of work and these are really, really detailed. And I'm not saying, I, I'm, to be clear, I'm not saying for a fact that he uses Copic. I, I don't know what pens he uses, to be honest. I know he's even done some painted stuff with um, other mediums, oil or whatever it is. So I, I'm not an expert, to be clear. So I don't know. It's always weird when you're doing videos on like living artists that are like currently creating stuff. Because, uh, I mean, I, I mean, these are just fan videos, really, to, to, to um, you know show kick-ass art to to expose people to artists that maybe they don't know depends i don't I, I don't know i mean generally speaking i would say on most videos i'll get a comment of that there's at least a few people that won't know someone's work and uh will immediately start to support it so i mean it definitely seems to be playing things forward really nice thinking it's just very detailed cool cool stuff look at that I like this. All this stuff over here is really neat. <laughs> His mouth. He's like, I'm gonna get ya. Get ya, get ya, get ya. And then we got this. Obviously, you can go to his Instagram and check out all this stuff. So, it'll be good. So nice big scans, honestly. Like, um, I, I didn't, you know, with Instagram, you can never tell how, um, how big they'll look on a computer. It's really cool. Man, it's really nice. Oh, so detailed. Look at that. Oh, yeah, he, he showed some whips. So it looks like a Copic to me. I recognize the pen. <laughs> Man, that is nuts. It must take a long time for him to do these pieces. I mean, it sounds funny saying it that way, but I'm just saying that, like, like uh, yeah, they, they must take at least 20 or 30 hours, probably more. It's interesting because the the application of paint in some ways almost feels um, um, what do you call it? Like opaque, like like almost like he's building up color on top of color. So I mean, you could do that with the ink and then white paint and put it on it. Like you see all this right here, so it's possible. I but, and again, I'm not saying I I have no idea what, what techniques he uses to be clear. You can see the underdrawing looks like it has some um, gray Copic on it already. That's crazy. There he is. Then he's inking around the color. And again, Microns. Andy Braz was using Microns too, so clearly, uh, clearly popular. This looks like a different pen. Oh, this is the white, the white paint pen, or, or looks looks like it. This is a detail of a different piece. Nice. 
But yeah, I mean, I think overall, I think that he's probably one of the best Copic, um, Copic marker artists. Copic should um, sponsor him. <laughs> Hashtag Copic. Seriously though, I mean, it's funny because uh, I'm a Rapido graph guy, so the 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 pen that I use if I'm gonna do detailed work is I use a Koenor Tech pen. I wrote him a letter when I was doing my black drawings, and I was like, hey. I've been using your pen since I was a teenager. This is the work that I do with your tool. They didn't reply. It was too scary. <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, this is this explosion is so cool. This is great too. This looks awesome. I love how um the um with with these these pens and even with oil paints and things like that how you can you get these um blends of colors where they meet and it turns into these other colors like the happy accident kind of areas sort of controlled happy accidents but uh it always looks so cool like even a little bit of ink maybe comes up and comes into the paint and just creates all these like subtle like just extra extra loving this is fun man the spider man looks great Cool gun too. I mean, he doesn't skimp on anything. There's really there's there's never an area where you go, oh, you didn't really like do that. Wait till you see what's coming up. We kind of got to hustle, because uh, again with the length of these videos, we got to move kind of quick. And then, um, like I've been mentioning in the videos, if we get to a hundred, I'll come back and I'll do another video on their stuff. And if we get to two hundred, I'll actually approach the artist and see if they'd like to come on and maybe do at least an audio interview where we talk about art, um, their favorite artists, and we can. Get a little try to get a little interview out of them if possible this is nice too get a real nice view of the inks but yeah i started following chris on um deviant art man a long time ago to be honest i mean it was i want to say that he was he was just barely getting into the copic stuff because i remember I remember seeing like um a f I think it was like a fantasy story that he had done like um with sequentials back then. So on Deviant Art way back there wasn't a ton of comic book artists and then slowly like well not slowly actually like it was almost like overnight like everyone showed up. But um yeah, this is cool. All right, let's continue friends. Uh that's really cool. I was thinking about this Omega Red really popular and lots of talk about him. I, I've always liked the character. I think he looks really cool. So hopefully Marvel does more with him. Man, this looks great too. Again, I really like the um, the blending of all the different colors in there. It's really cool. The stuff you see like in here really looks neat. Good, good stuff. It's funny because, like, like in some of these areas, you almost get like an Assad Ribic vibe. It doesn't Chris's work doesn't look like Assad Ribic, but Ribic is really good with like blending color too. Like in here, this stuff really, really looks great. That's kick ass. Told you this week was gonna be good, and we've still got room for a couple of um, requests. So let me know. We're looking at detailed artists this week. Crazy detailed. You've seen what we've looked at. Have to keep moving the bar higher. So I want something more crazy, more detailed. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Look at the colors on this. So vibrant. His chroma key is strong. His chroma key, chroma key um, uh, game. <laughs> got caught up in chroma key i couldn't think yeah this is really cool look at that a little detail as you can see a few of these may go out of order it was it was the way that um the files kind of like when I downloaded them, they got a little jumbled up. I'm not sure why it was, but uh, yeah, it might go a little out of order where we might see pieces, um, and then all of a sudden not see more, and then come back to it. It's like a Hellboy thing coming up in uh, a Groot. 
I, I, I mean, I just tried to pick pieces that, that I could see a full piece and then some details, so. I cherry pick as quickly as possible just because, again, I can't spend a ton of time on these videos. This is great, too. People always seem to have fun with this character. It's I've I've never drawn drawn him, but uh, yeah, whenever whenever people seem to draw Swamp Thing or um, any of the monster characters, it, it always seems like a lot of fun. He's real good with trees and leaves, and I mean he's really good with everything. But uh, that's really cool. It's nice. It's like a little fingerprint action going on in there, maybe. Maybe, maybe. The red is nice right there. It's arty. Man, it's so cool. I really like his belly right here. It feels like really good. <laughs> feels good. But yeah, definitely, I would I would recommend if his Deviant Art Gallery is still up, definitely check that out too because he has a lot of these pieces, um, and uh, I didn't see as many of his just pure gray pieces on Instagram. They're older, but but uh, I think that they're they're cool too. You know, like this is great. This all day long, right? Look at this. This character is awesome down here. This looks like it's one of his oil paintings. Hopefully I have more of it. I don't know. Let's see. Batman pen and ink. Really cool. And and if you remember on the Andy Braz video, this effect. It's kind of the I, I'd refer to it as Bernie Wrightson, but I mean it kind of comes from et etchings. Franklin Booth did it in pen and ink um, also, but uh, yeah, a lot of the old etchings you would see in here. This is an alien piece that he did not too long ago, actually, I think within the last year, maybe. Really, really cool. Really good. That's an alien, all right. I know. I've seen him. <laughs> Man, so kick-ass. Really interesting. Okay. Lots and lots of hatching. And look, this is just a, a heads up for aspiring artists. Don't let stuff that's this crazy detailed um, freak you out in terms of like that you could never do it or whatever. And, and in particular, if you attempt something like this, just know that this is this takes a lot of effort for anyone. And and. Um, just you know if you attempt it and it, it doesn't work out and you've spent a ton of time on a drawing just chalk it up to experience because even for someone like chris he had to work up to it you know i mean it's years of practice it's years of doing these value pieces with uh, copics and stuff like that and so when you see stuff at a real high level you know and you're you, you want to get to that level it's, it's like you gotta you gotta pay your dues and do the drawings and then you'll get there this is great too so just some words of encouragement so that no one gets frustrated. Because even for a professional, if you if you said, like, do a piece like Chris, most of them would have a stroke. <laughs> I, like, I can't do that. I don't have that kind of patience. It's all really cool. There we go. Lots and lots of lines and an eel. Look at that. Man, that's crazy. It's kind of, I, it's funny because there's a Joe Mad piece that I inked that has very similar, like this, the lines that I did. Chris? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, this is all cool. Oh yeah, this is nice too. Man, it's really, really cool. Man, that is nice. Okay, we gotta hurry. I, I don't want this to go too over 10 minutes. So I'm gonna start moving a little quicker because I actually 
I, I have to stick to the 10 minute I'd concept. It's just pointless that they keep s spilling over like by quite a bit. This is awesome though. Man, look at this. That is so cool. Oh my God. That is just insane. <laughs> Rocket. Hellboy. I think that's the last one. We're getting towards the end. Uh, Joker's great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Juggernaut. We're right towards the end now. This is cool. I think this is the first piece that I grabbed. Nope. This was. We'll see if I'm wrong again. Yeah, that was it. All right, you guys have a great day. Chris Stevens. Really, really great stuff. I think on DeviantArt, he's Chris 2D. I was used to say Chris 3D, but I think it's Chris 2D. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll have links. I'll actually, I'll get you links for both. And uh, yeah, please follow him if you don't already. And if you don't already, what, what's wrong with you? Follow him. Uh, maybe you didn't see the work before, though. But I, I, like I said, I find that doubtful. All right, you guys have a great day. And uh, recommendations. And look, like I said, get it up to 100. I'll do a longer video on his work. Get it to 200. And I'll approach them to get on the show and do interviews. Because I'm going to do a lot of interviews over the next, like, year. And um, but there was one last thing I was going to say. Oh, and we can pull a lot of stuff from his uh, DeviantArt, or I have all that stuff saved, I'm sure, so I could hunt it down. But um, yeah, so there's a lot of his art that we haven't seen. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.